Okay, so in the last tutorial we looked at adding a ISO to your data store. Um, I've got a data store here and as you can see um, my ISO for Xbox Media Center is still in there. Um, it's going to be the same for Windows or anything like that, I'm just using this as a demo because it doesn't take up much space. Um, you would probably usually put your actual VMs on a different data store if it's available. Um, in my case and maybe in yours we can just pop it on the same one. So to get started click on your, um, your host here, right click on it, new virtual machine is the one you want to select. Um, typical is actually going to be fine for you most of the time. I'm going to click on custom just to show you all the options that are available. Um, first you've got to name your virtual machine, so I'm just going to call it test um, VM uh, Xbox Media Center in brackets. Um, this isn't really setting stone, you can change that. Next you've got to choose where, where we're going to put the virtual machine. Um, I'm going to whack it on my only data store. If you've got multiple ones, um, your iSCSI ones or anything, whack them there. Um, as you're using your 6i5, use Virtual Machine 8. You only really need to use the others if you want backwards compatibility. Um, here you're going to choose what your guest operating system is. Um, this is just so it can set up, pre-configure some bits for you. Um, mine's going to be 64-bit Linux, but if you were doing Windows, just select the Windows version that you're going to be installing. This doesn't install it for you, it's just doing some um, settings for you. Next you're going to choose how many virtual um, CPUs you want to give it. Uh, I'm just going to give it one for now. Um, my advice is always go with the lowest and then add more if you think it's running slow. Um, and the same goes for RAM. I'm going to start off with just giving it half a gig here, 512 meg. Add more as you go. Start low and increase. Um, next is your network cards. Um, this is virtual network cards. Um, so I'm just going to choose one for the time being. Leave on the standard settings. SCSI controller. Um, unless you know what you're doing, you just leave this on LSI Logic Parallel. That's going to be fine for most of you. Virtual disk. Um, if you've already got a VM, you could select a different one and add an existing, but I'm going to create a new one. Choose 5 gig. Thick provision is going to use all the space from the beginning. Thin provision is going to just only use the space as it as it when it goes. Um, just use thick position if you don't don't know. Um, location you can choose to put it elsewhere, but I'm going to choose it in the put it in the same place as the data store where I chose to put the virtual machine earlier on. Um, you can leave everything in advanced options here, um, but before you finish, you're going to need to edit the virtual machine settings. So if you just tick the box and click continue, and you need to go to CD DVD drive, and then what we need to do is select data store ISO file. Um, what we're going to do here is boot to the ISO that we uploaded in the last tutorial. So if you browse to that one, um, and you can select the ISO, this is the one we're actually going to be installing. So I'm just going to go through and select that one, and then make sure you click connect at power on the top. If nothing happens when you boot up, it's probably because you forgot that one. You can go ahead and click finish now, and if we just uh, maximize the one on the left here, we can see our VM at the top left. Um, so you need to check at the bottom to make sure it's been created first. Then you can right click on your VM, power and power on. And if you left click on your VM, and then go to the tab called console at the top here, you can then see what's going on. And we should be able to see it's going to be booting to the disk in just a moment. So, you can see it's booting up here, and that's all there is to it. It doesn't matter if you're booting to Windows, um, or Server OS, or what you're doing, um, it's going to be it's going to be the same. Um, just boot it up to a different ISO, um, and remember to change the, the, the settings so that it says Windows um, for the ones you're installing. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and um, we'll look at some other VM options you've got for your VMware, such as networking in the future tutorials. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.